Okay, good evening. Good evening, sir. We are going to continue our tutorial. This is the second phase of it. We're going to start from where we left off the last time. So on your screen is the question that we're trying to solve. I think the requirements are six. We're able to deal with three of them, remaining the last three. So we are going to start from requirement four and end with requirement six. Is that okay? Yes. Were you able to go over what we did? I cry, yes, small. Why small? It's more than a week now. We solved only three requirements. Are you telling me you weren't able to go through the three? No, I, I, I went through. Are I you went okay? through them. I think my so, only challenge, no, my not at, um, challenge with the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the, the graph. That is what I, um, I'm having challenge with and I wanted to. So master. take your time. You have a challenge because you've not paid That's one and close the attention one. to it. Sorry. Get some time and pay close attention to the graph. It's not difficult to understand. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The graph is also part of what you should know. It's examinable. So you cannot say uh, it's difficult. So you, you are leaving it. You have to give it close attention and you will understand it. You can watch the video over and over and over. The understanding will come. There are certain things the understanding will not come straight away. It doesn't mean they are not understandable. You need to give them more attention. That's what it means. Okay. okay. So requirement number four. Let me let me go through the question again. After going through the question, we're going to start from requirement four, just to kind of uh, remind ourselves of what the, the case is, what the problem is. Very much company limited sells blouses in Cape Coast. You can blouses are imported from Pakistan and are sold to customers in Cape Coast at a profit. Salespersons are paid basic salary plus a decent commission of 14 cities on each sale made by them. Selling price and expense data is given below. The selling price for one blouse is 80 cities. Then the variable cost per blouse is broken down as follows invoice costs the, the cost of purchasing one blouse is 36 sales commission for one blouse is 14 cities giving us a total variable cost of 50 ghana cities then annual fixed cost broken down as rent of 160,000 cities advertising as 300 thousand cities salaries as one forty thousand cities giving us a total of six hundred Ghana cities okay so that's the question so we are going to begin from requirement number four requirement number four reads if the manager is paid a commission of six cities per blouse sold in addition to the salesperson's commission what will be the effect on the company's break-even point break-even point here means the break-even quantity and the break-even revenue so the point has to like a point on on a line a point has to coordinate so break-even point has two dimensions, break-even quantity, break-even revenue. You can take it 
from that angle. So that's that's the question. Requirement number four. How do you understand the requirement? I, I need your input first before we start it. How do you understand the the requirement number four? Assuming it were a question before you, an exam situation, which you have to answer. How do you understand it so that you will be able to solve it? Um, um, I say the sales persons, um, commissioned the manager would also be given the commission per um, every blouse sold for success. Okay. Yeah, that's a very important uh, information to note. If that, that's the only difference. The original question brings the idea that the manager is not paid a commission. If you look at the question, it says salesperson's commission. The manager is not a salesperson, so he doesn't receive 14 cities for a blouse sold. But this is some kind of uh, a new scenario that you want to look at. Assuming that this time around, the manager, in addition to the salespersons, also receives six cities, sorry, receives a commission of six cities. Okay, so the salespersons will be paid 14 cities. That's what we have in the question. Sales commission. There's 14 cities. But he's saying that the manager will be paid six cities per blouse sold. Okay. What will be the effect on the company's break even? This means that certain information that we need for the formula work will now change so you just have to go and change the the figure for that part of the formula because there is a new dimension this is what i mean We know that the break even, sorry. Break even quantity is given by the formula total fixed cost divided by unit contribution. You remember, you remember this formula? Yes, please. Okay. Nothing from the requirement for nothing has happened to the total fish cost. There was nothing said about. Yes. Please. There was nothing said about the total fish cost, which means total fish cost is as is. It's the same as as. We were given in the original question. Okay. But well, let's come to the unit contribution. We know the unit contribution is given by the formula selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. 
host per unit. This has not changed. But this has changed. The variable cost per unit has changed. Let's go back to the question. The original variable cost per unit is 14 per unit, right? Yes. And requirement four is saying that in addition to the 14 that we pay to salespeople for every unit, so mm -hmm. the manager is also going to be paid a commission of six. Six. It means that our new commission, new commission per unit of blouse sold is going to be the original 14 CDs plus the new six CDs that we pay to the manager, giving us what? 20. 20, 20 CDs. Are you okay with this analysis? Yes, please. Hmm. So the only thing that is going to change from what you know already is that the variable cost per unit instead of 14 is going to be 20. Okay. And therefore, the unit contribution is also going to change. So now, our unit contribution. So please, I've not copied what you've written earlier. When you are when you are done, can you give me time to? Do you think you need to copy? The video is available to you. Did you watch the? Yeah, first I watched. Video? I watched the video, but I, I'm. I don't know. What is this a difference? Do I need to say that we make sure I say more okay, sense? Okay, okay, okay. If you gain something from writing, then you can write it. So let me give you the page to write. A few minutes. Mm, okay. Okay, please, let's go on. Okay. So now you understand that our unit contribution is equal to selling price per unit of still 80 Ghana cities, right? Yeah. But our variable cost per unit has changed. Is now fourteen plus fourteen six. plus six is now twenty. No, let's go back to the question again. That is only the commission. Yeah. Oh so, yes. Yeah. So now our variable cost per unit. Our variable cost per unit, let me bring colon here. It's going to be new commission of 20 plus the invoice cost of 36. The invoice cost is still the same. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Let me show yeah. you the original question. The original question, the variable cost per blouse was 36 plus 14. This 36 is still the same. Mm -hmm. The 36 is still the same. Okay. 36 is still the same. 
but it is the commission that has changed. Now there is an addition of 16. Are you okay? Yes. Giving us a new figure uh, of an addition of uh -huh. six. Not 16, six, sorry. six. Uh huh. Yeah. Addition I was coming to ask where the 16 is coming from. Yeah. Thank you. Addition of six, which is giving us a new figure of 14 plus six. 20. 20. So now the total variable cost per unit will now be this 36 plus this 20. So the total mm -hmm. will now be um, 56. 56. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. So that's what I'm doing here. So the new convention is 20. Invoice cost is 36. Giving us our new variable cost per unit of 56. 56. When we subtract, so this is a cost. When we subtract this variable cost from our selling price per unit, we we'll get the unit contribution. So unit contribution. It's now the new unit contribution is 56. Is that okay? Yes, yes. So if you come back to the formula, total fixed cost of our unit contribution, it is now going to be the total fixed cost, the original figure, divided by the new contribution per unit, which is 56. 56. So it's going to be 600. So B, E, Q for break-even quantity is equal to in the question total fixed cost is six hundred thousand that has hundred thousand so six hundred thousand divided by a new contribution per unit of 56. 56. So what would it be use your calculator hey sir this time around punch it well don't make any mistake Okay, six hundred thousand divided by fifty six. <laughs> what is it? Ten, ten. Mm, yeah, some more. This mouse here. Plenty this mouse view. Ten seven one four points. Twenty, twenty. Nine because we have two eight five, so approximately twenty nine. Okay, so to the nearest whole number, let's assume uh, that that's what is that is what the case is practical. We can't have a fraction of a blouse. Mm -hmm. A blouse is a, a full unit. We don't have uh, a part of a blouse. Is that going to be the hand of the blouse? So let's convert it to the nearest whole number. That makes more practical sense. So I shouldn't bring so the point. Nearest, to the nearest whole number will be 10, 10, 7, 1, 10, 7, 1, 4, 4. right? The, yeah. the digit that is after the point is not up to 5 to round it up. OK. OK. So that's what we are going to assume. So with the new information where the... Sir, please let me copy from the other side where we calculated for the um, variable, the unit contribution, this page, the new right? commission, a uh -huh, yes, please. Um, When you finish, you are letting me for us to move forward. Please, I'm done. 
Okay. Okay. So the new break-even quantity. When now the manager is paid a commission of six CDs, there's 10,714 blouses. Mm -hmm. So this is the blouses we have to sell to break even, to pay all of our costs, but nothing left as super normal profit, as the economists will say. Is that right? Yes. Uh, do you have your old... Uh, I mean, the previous solution. Do you have it with you? The previous, the, the question one and two. Yes. Yes. Check the break even quantity, the original one, without uh, the six cities being paid to the manager. What was it? Uh, 20,000. The break-even quantity, the break-even blouses. Yes. Quantity of blouses. Yes. For 20,000. Yes, please. Uh, that would have been 600,000 divided by uh 80 minus 50. yes so let's so 600,000 divided by, divided by 30. 30. yeah confidence level is low 600 divided by 30. okay so that was 20,000 blouses Let's check something. I suspect something is wrong somewhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Let's go back. This is the new variable cost. Please pay attention. The new variable cost is now the new commission of 20 and the invoice cost of 36 right yeah. giving us a new variable cost of 56 56 there was a mistake at this side so this 56 mm -hmm. this 56 is the new variable cost let me arrange it well this is the new variable cost when we subtract because we didn't do the subtraction i just sent the same 56 day when we subtract 56 from 80 what do we get do it uh -huh. no i don't want it to 56 plus 80. 80 minus 56. Yeah. 30. Let's be a donor. Don't you have a calculator? Just use calculator. Don't worry your head. 24. Okay. So this 24 is our new... Unit. variable cost no unit contribution please take your time yes. the new variable cost per unit is 56 when you subtract the new variable cost from the selling price per unit you get your new contribution per unit of 24. are you okay 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 so now break even quantity is Total fixed cost divided by unit contribution. Total fixed cost stands the same as the 600,000, but our new unit contribution is 24. 
Okay, so now recalculate the break-even quantity of blouses. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. Yes, please. Okay, and I will explain to you why the figures made us aware that we were making a mistake. So this gives us twenty-five thousand, right? Is this right? Yes, please. So twenty-five thousand blouses. Okay, this is what it means. The original question where only the salespersons were paid commission of 14. The manager wasn't paid any commission. Mm -hmm. So the cost that we have to settle is lower, isn't it? Yeah. You don't have any money to pay to any manager, any commission to pay to any manager. Yeah. So if you have to sell to pay that cost, you will have to sell less compared to where now the manager commission costs has been added. That, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to, even before calculation, understand that, okay, now that cost has increased, then the quantity to sell to break even also has to increase to pay the extra cost. Don't you think so? Mm. Mm -hmm. So it was wrong that when the cost was 14, I'm just only concentrating on the commission just for you to see things clear. When the commission was 14, we had to sell 20,000 blouses. Now that the commission has increased from 14 to 20, you mm -hmm. have to sell more to pay for the extra six yeah yeah so it, it couldn't have been lesser yeah so the earlier ten thousand was an indication that that's why i no. asked you the previous one yeah mm. so that was good for us to know where the problem was i hope you're okay but yes now. please yeah okay. so you can begin to form some 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 mental picture about how uh changes in cost will affect the break-even situation. Mm -hmm. If cost increases, the break-even point increases. Mm -hmm. What it means is that if your cost increase, you have to do more to pay for the extra cost. Yeah. And the reverse is true. If cost reduces, the break-even point reduces. All right. The cost mm -hmm. can be variable cost or fixed cost. In this particular instance, it was a variable cost, a component of the variable cost, which increased. But it affects the total cost. So you have to pay, we have to do more, sell more to pay for that more cost. It also tells you that if cost is constant, but selling price increases, then the break-even point will, will lower, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to understand these things from uh, that common sense perspective, even without any calculations. And your calculations should confirm. So if your calculations like this mistake that we did, if your mm. calculation is not confirming it, it should alert you that no, let me go back, maybe something is wrong somewhere. Okay, so that's um the break-even quantity. Then let's go to the break-even ribbon because we said the point has two coordinates. Break-even point has two parts, the quantity part and the revenue part. So we mm. have understood that. Uh, with the manager being paid six cities commission in addition to the commission paid to the salespersons, the quantity now that we have to sell up the blouses to be able to break even is 25,000. How about the revenue that needs to be generated to break even? That's the break even revenue. Hmm. So, break even revenue. I am writing it as BER for short. Hmm. You remember the formula? It is yes, equal please. to total face cost. Okay, tell me the formula. Conclude it. Total face cost over contribution um, to contribution to sales ratio. 
Anna. Correct. I'll give you two marks for free. I say no. TFC over. Yes, you've done very well. So total first cost divided by contribution to sales ratio per unit. Per unit. Yes. And now let's come and calculate this guy because there has been a change in the variable cost, uh, yeah. specifically the commission. So on this guy, let's bring him out here. CS ratio is now going to be unit contribution of 24, you remember? Yeah. But not the original 30. The original was 30. Um, this time around 24. The new one is 24. Yes. Divided by sales sales revenue per unit or selling price per unit. Selling price, but, yeah. Yeah, that one has not changed. It's still 80. 80. So our new CS ratio is equal to 24 divided by 80. What is that 24. one? 24. What's, what's the figure? Twenty-four divided by eighty will give you zero point three. Okay, so that is zero point three Ghana cities. So that is contribution to sales ratio. Mm -hmm. 0.3. Say. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? Yes. So 0 0.3 Ghana CDs. So please, when we are done, will you... The other time, I was not able to open the recording that you sent to me. You know, the lecture, you recorded it and then sent it to me. I was not able to open. So I watched... Um the youtube one that was what i was saying i didn't understand but would i still get access no, to this? i'll send it to you but i didn't this. want to i don't want to copy i just want to pay attention to what you're saying i don't want to be writing at the same time yes and and this is what i have to say mm. all the the videos i'll send to you they will be on youtube they will not be to you personally oh really yes so the YouTube link that you saw, that is the video. Mm. Yeah. No, what we did the other time. Yes, what we, that's what we did the other time. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I sent you the link on that video we did the other time. Mm -hmm. On the Google Classroom platform, or you didn't go to check? Actually, I was trying to open i was not able to but then the one you sent me before we started the class that is uh, what i'm saying i tried one. the hair so i no, couldn't even the, follow it, what the new one is there go and check it means uh -huh. you don't check the google classroom that's why go and check it's there mm. yeah you don't check or you don't you don't check your youtube once you have subscribed any video i put there you get an alert on your youtube Surprisingly, I have, but I didn't get any alert. No you get alert. If you don't get, for the sound alert, you have to maybe click on that bell button. Bell button. But yeah. yeah, even if you have not clicked on the bell button to give you sound alert, when you open your YouTube, when you open your YouTube, let me see if I can do, I can take the opportunity to experiment that <laughs> okay when you open your youtube right mm. you will see this are you using this bell button yeah that is the notification button mm -hmm. so even if it doesn't beep because you are when not, i go there i'll see it 
Yes. No, you will see that. Have you seen plus one here? Yeah. Some plus one red. Yeah, I have seen it. Means I have received a new alert. Mm. If another one comes before I open this, it will come and add to two, three, four. So anytime you open, you, you have to go there because you may you have subscribed to some information that you may get information. So you go and check when you see this and you click, you click on it, you will see the alerts, the recent alerts that are coming. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that's that's what, that's how it works. So if you go to your YouTube now, you see that alerts are there. If you go to the Google Classroom platform. So the information platforms I give you, at least from time to time you go there because they don't have mouth to tell you that, oh, there's something here. You have to go there to check from time to time. When yes, you go sir. and open, you will see it has been there over a week now. I'm surprised you have not seen it. CVP single product situation tutorial. This is the that day, same day and I put it there. And when I even put it there, the other student who is also in there, he saw it and said, thank you. This is coming from Benedict and Anikia. No, what I'm saying, I, I, what I, I, I said was, I saw it. But like I, you know. This, this is how you will see it. Exactly. I opened and, and it gave me an error. I didn't know whether it was coming from my side or not. You so understand? I tried opening it over and over again. I wasn't able to. But this is what we did the other time here. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Hello, Joshua. Can you hear me? Oh, I didn't hear. You. But can you hear me now? Now I can hear you, Clay. Okay, so what I'm saying is that it's there. So after this uh, tutorial, you can go and watch it. Yes, sir. When I finish this one, I'll also put it there. When I put it there and you click on it, it will come. Well noted. Okay. So this is our new contribution to sales ratio. This simply means that for every sale, for every sale we make, we make a contribution of 0 0.3 cities. Every one CD sale, every one CD sale, the contribution is 0 0.3. CS ratio, contribution per sales. So 0 0.3 CDs for every sales, so every one CD sales made, that's the meaning. Okay, so now for formula work, we understand that our break even, Sorry. Our break even revenue is equal to total fixed cost of 600,000 divided by a contribution to sales ratio of 0 0.3. What does that give us? Um, divided by yes. please let's hurry up zero point six hundred thousand divided by zero point three that should be very quick to keep yeah two two million okay two million so this gives us two million Ghana cities 
it means that with the new information, the money that we need to generate, the money that we need to generate, so that we can pay all of our costs, including the new commission we have to pay to the manager, pay all of our costs, but nothing left as a normal profit. It's two million. And you can confirm this by doing this simple mathematics. The blouses that we need to sell, the physical blouses, quantity of blouses to sell to, to break even was 25,000. We just calculated that one. Do you remember? Yes. And each blouse, price per, per blouse, each blouse sells for 80 cities. So this will give you this 2 million revenue. Mm -hmm. Multiply this and let's see, 25,000 times 80. Mm -hmm. What is the figure? 25 times 80. 25,000. 2, 2 million, 2 million, million. Ghana cities. So does it mean that you can straight away calculate it this way without going through the formula, the PER 600,000 divided by the 0 0.3? Whichever way should be correct or? Hello? Hello, Joshua. Are you hearing me, please? I just heard you, but I don't know whether you heard what I the question I asked. Perfectly, I heard the question you asked. You were asking whether you can use this approach instead of the formula one. Mm. Yes, you can use it. And I was saying that uh, I'll recommend that you usually stick to the formula because when we start doing the multiple product situation, Mm -hmm. you'll realize that you will need the contribution to sales ratio a lot. So if you work always with it for you to be familiar with that formula, that is good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can do it this way as well. I'll let it. Okay. So that is requirement number four. Any questions about that? Okay. So far, so good. Requirement number five. As an alternative to requirement for above, company is thinking to pay six cities commission to manager on each blouse sold in excess of break-even point. You see the first one, the six CD per blouse is going to be paid on every blouse paid, I mean, sorry, every blouse sold. Mm -hmm. Yes. The second requirement is saying that you will not pay the manager any commission until after break-even point. Are you okay? Please come again. Let me read the requirement five and four. As an alternative to requirement four above, Company is thinking to pay six cities commission to the manager on each blouse sold in excess of break even point. Do you understand that one? Mm. So the six cities will, will be paid on blouses that are sold after hitting the break even point. Mm -hmm. Then the question is, what will be the effect on this change on the net operating income or loss of the company if 20, 23,500 blouses are sold in a year? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a little bit complicated question. So let's think mm -hmm. about it. Confusing. It's confusing. Eh? Mm -hmm. Not really. If you sit down and think and break it in pieces, you can. First of all, is 
break, there's a break even pin here because it's saying the six cities should be paid after break even point. Okay, so which means you can know the blouses after break even point when you know the break even point itself. Isn't 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 that true? Mm -hmm. A queer donor. Is your name a queer or a fear? Mm -hmm. I'm Araba. Araba is um Thursday for Thursday, okay. Araba yeah. Hmm. I remember the there's a, a lady we used to call her, so Araba. Yeah. Araba. Say. Do you agree that Per the way the question is, it says manager will be paid six, six CDs commission for the blouses that we sell beyond the break-even break point. point. Which mm -hmm. means that you need to, first of all, establish your break-even point. Break-even point before. You can know that these sales are above the break-even point. Is that mm -hmm. true? Yes. So you can pay the commission. Exactly, which requires that you need to know the break-even quantity. Mm. You need to know the break-even quantity. And it is telling you that the company, look at here, the company, the company sold 23,500 blouses. So if you know the break-even point and you subtract the break-even quantity from this actually sold blouses, then you can know the quantities that were sold beyond the break-even quantity. Is that right? Mm, okay. Which the six cities will affect, the six cities commission will affect. Mm. Are you noticing the analysis? Yes, uh, yeah. Okay. So we have to calculate the break-even. And the break-even has already been calculated. The first uh, um, tutorial we did, Mm -hmm. The original break even, mm -hmm. which was 20,000 blouses, which right? 20,000 blouses, yes. So, break even blouses, break even quantity of blouses is 20,000. Mm -hmm. 20,000 blouses, and straight away you can connect the 20,000 to the 23,500. Mm -hmm. So you can see that blouses in excess of the break-even or uh -huh. quantity, quantity of blouses in excess of break-even is equal to 23,500 500. minus 20,000. Um, is equal to 3,500. 3, Are you okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is 3,500. Each one will attract a commission of six cities. Six for the cities. Hello? Yes, my man. Uh -huh. Are you following? Yes, please. Okay. So let, let's come to our board and write it well. So requirement five. Requirement number five. We need to establish one, the break-even quantity. And this is, is equal to per previous calculations, 20 thousand blouses second units or quantities sold quantity of blouses sold is equal to 23,500.
blouses sold in excess of break even quantity is equal to 23 23 sorry Twenty-three five hundred blouses minus minus twenty thousand twenty thousand blouses, blouses given as three thousand five hundred five hundred blouses. Okay, let's go back to the question again. The question actually is, what will be the effect? This is the question. What will be the effect of this change on the net operating income or loss of Berima company? So This is the quantity in excess of the break even. Now let's look at, let's calculate the, the commission. Commission in, commission based on, let me find a good narrative. Commission based on, based on, Quantity, quantity of blouses in excess of break even quantity. This is equal to three thousand five hundred times six. Is that right? Yeah. The commissioner will be paid to the manager. Mm. Yes. Will be the quantity in excess of break even, which is 3,500 times commission per unit of six mm. cities. Mm. So, what will this give us? 21,000. 21,000. Yes, please. 21, 21,000. So, this becomes the total commission. Mm. Total commission, total extra commission to be paid to the manager. To the manager. Yes. Mm. And if this is to be paid to the manager, how is this going to affect the the net operating income or loss of it? Yes. <coughs> so we can prepare a simplified operating income. Operating income, we will first have our revenue, our revenue of 80 cities are selling price per blouse times <laughs> times the quantity of selling price, so, sorry, the, the quantity of blouses sold which is 23,500. Then we have our costs of sale. Cost of sale, we have our invoice costs of 
36 times 23500. We have a commission. Commission of So this commission will be the original commission of 14. So 14 times 2, 3, 500. Mm. Yes. Then we will, this will be our cost. Then there is an extra commission cost. So managers, we can call it managers commission. Just six. Yeah, so let's see. Let, let's let's break it down. I'm coming. Eighty. Eighty times two, three, five hundred. What what would that figure be? Um, to give you one point. 880 million. So 1880 thousand. So 1.88 million. This is our sales revenue. Then this is our these are our costs. Invoice cost of 36 times 23500. That will be 846. Are you sure? You know, 23. 23. 36. 36. 36. Uh, okay, okay. Times 36 by 23,500. 23, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. What did you get? 8460. Okay. 846,000. Eight, Six thousand. Mm -hmm. Then the commission, original commission of fourteen two Four. three hundred. Fourteen times. Fourteen times. Times two three five hundred. Five hundred will give us three hundred and twenty nine. Three two nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this will be subtracted. This will be subtracted. Or let's do it this way. Let's add the cost to get a total cost and subtract the total cost from the revenue. Are you okay with that? No, please. I don't understand. This is what mm -hmm. I mean. These two are costs. Mm -hmm. So let's that add them. Eight for eight for six thousand. Plus. Eight Four six thousand plus three two nine thousand. Um, what did you get? One point one hundred and seventy five million. Okay. One one seven five thousand. So mm -hmm. this is the total variable cost. When we subtract this from the total sales revenue. Which is the one one million eighty eight zero. What do we get? Seven seven zero five. Okay. Seven zero five. Yes, please minus our total fixed cost. So this is our total contribution, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, minus our total fixed cost of 600,000. 600,000. Yes. So let me open another page. It continues. So I'm going to just bring total contribution here. 705,000. Then we have total fixed costs. 
of 600,000. When you subtract it, what do you get? 105,000. 105,000. So this is our total profit. So originally, without, without the manager's commission of six cities on the unit beyond break-even point, this would have been our profit, right? Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. Madam Bajo, see. See. This profit statement we are preparing. Uh -huh. The six CDs that we paid on the extra units beyond the break even to the manager. Uh -huh. This is the total amount. This 21,000 CDs. It has not been factored. So this is our original profit without paying the extra commission to the manager, right? Yeah. Good. And the question was asking you that if you pay the manager that commission on the extra units beyond the break even point, mm -hmm. how is that going to affect the operating, net the operating, operating, income. operating income or loss? Mm -hmm. So now we are now coming to affect it here. So this is our total profit. Adjust. Adjusted for or adjusted with whatever, adjusted with managers commission, managers commission of. 21,000. 21,000. So if you subtract 21,000 from the profit of 105,000, what do we get? Do not make count. 84. 84. Thousand. Okay. So what you will see in conclusion is that that policy of paying policy of paying the manager twenty three thousand sorry uh, uh, uh paying the manager a commission of six cities commission on Unit sold beyond the break even point is going to reduce our profit by 21,000. We could have even ended here. Mm -hmm. It's going to reduce the profits because the question was just asking for the effects on the profit. So we can even it. end here, or you could have ended here and then you would have concluded that uh, that will reduce the profit mm -hmm. by. 21,000 Ghana cities or increase our losses by the same 21,000 cities. Yeah, we could have ended here and concluded like that. So the income statement is just a confirmation. It's just a confirmation that the profit will reduce by 21,000. But actually this is where, this is all that is very much needed. The effect it will reduce profit by twenty one thousand. Mm. So it sounds more reasonable like five and four are linked. Yeah. So I will give you an assignment. Mm. If the manager is paid a commission of six cities per blouse row, okay. That one break even doesn't come in. So every unit sold, manager will be paid six CDs per blouse in addition to what is paid to the salespersons. Prepare the income statement. Income. 
Yes, prepare the income statement for this one. Where the manager is paid six CDs per blouse, in addition to salesperson's commission of 14 CDs. That in is other words, operating in income. In other words, see this. This was, this was our, this was our sales revenue, right? Two million. Two million was our sales revenue when the manager no two million was not the sales revenue two million was the break-even revenue in other words if you want to even assess everything around the break-even we need to generate two million Ghana cities when the manager is paid a commission of six cities on each blouse If now that same commission of six cities should be paid such that the six cities is paid after we have, if I mean, achieved our break even quantity beyond the six cities is paid on units beyond the break even quantity, what will be the picture? So, how would that picture be different? How would this new picture be different from the old one? Please, the question again. The question is, maybe I don't need to bore you with this question, but let mm -hmm. me explain the point five again for you to understand it well. Mm -hmm. Manager is going to be paid a commission of six cities for quantities sold beyond the break-even quantity. Mm -hmm. Break-even quantity is 20,000. Unit sold is 23,000. So the quantity beyond the break even quantity is 3,500. Mm -hmm. And each of these 3,500 will be paid a commission of six mm -hmm. cities. So the total commission was calculated as, as 21,000. Yes, here. Okay, yeah. Good. So the question was asking the effect, what will be the effect of this change on the net mm -hmm. operating income or loss mm -hmm. of the Berima company if 23,000 blouses are sold in a year? The, actually, the question that I wanted us to solve, maybe we'll solve it as a tutorial together, is that without this kind of implementation of paying six CDs on blouses sold in excess of break-even. What would have been the profit for the company if 23,500 blouses are sold? So if you go back to the original question, you will see that the original question reads like 80 CDs selling price, invoice cost of 36, sales commission. It's only the sales people that will pay commission. Manager doesn't come in. So mm -hmm. we have variable cost of 50, right? And yeah. the total of 600,000. We can mm -hmm. prepare an income statement based on this figure, mm. figures, all right? So okay. the income statement, let's prepare it. The income statement that would have resulted based on this figure, those figures, would have been sales revenue of 80 times 23,500, which is the same as 1,880,000, the same figure, right? Mm -hmm. But the costs, so let's say variable cost first. Variable costs. The in invoice costs. The invoice costs will be 36 times 23,500. You understand that? Then yes. commission. Commission will be 14 times 23,500. Are you okay? Yes. 
So let's calculate 36 times. I think it was, we are calculating. We've done this already. Uh, let me call for those figures. 36 times two. That is eight four it's six. Eight hundred forty-six. Yeah. Eight four six thousand. And the commission of fourteen. I don't think the com uh, commission of fourteen is three two nine thousand. Yes, three two nine. We've done that. Three two nine thousand. Okay. Which will give us. Let me add all the costs, and then we have this cost. Of 600 six hundred thousand. So let's add, add all the costs. The okay. previous one, the addition of the two costs gave us one 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 seven five thousand. So add six hundred thousand to that one. One seven seven five thousand. One 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 seven seven five. One seven 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 five. To one seven seven five thousand. Good. So this will be our total cost, right? Okay. Subtract this total cost from our total revenue of one eight eight zero thousand. We are getting the same one zero five. One zero five. Good. Yeah. One zero five. Thousand. Let me write it here. I just want to show a certain picture. I'll explain the picture I want to show you. Okay. One zero five thousand. All right. So without orig originally, without the implementation of paying commission to the to the manager of six cities on units above break even point. This would have been our profit, 105,000, right? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And if we implement the policy of paying six cities commission on units above break even quantity, the profit will reduce by 21,000. That is the earlier one we did. So that if you remember, when we got this, sorry, when uh -huh. we got this, one zero five thousand. We came yeah. to subtract twenty one thousand. The commission that we paid to the manager, and now yeah. our profit is reduced to eighty four eighty four thousand from one zero five thousand. Mm -hmm. That is the picture. That is imagine our mm -hmm. profit will reduce by twenty one thousand. That's why I was telling you you could have even ended here mm. and made the conclusion that profit will reduce by twenty one thousand. Uh -huh. But this one confirms it. The original profit would have been one zero five thousand, and with the implementation of the policy, the new profit will be eighty four thousand. Um, Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This one, I think, you need to go home and rest more and give it a close attention. You will understand it. It's not difficult at all. Uh -huh. Yeah. I just need some close. Uh, Close marking. Let's look at the last requirement and then we can close for today. Last requirement is saying refer to the original data. What will be the break even point of the company if commission is entirely eliminated and salaries are increased by 214,000? This one, I want you to do it. I'll attempt, attempt it, right? is making some adjustments. He's saying that commission, commission is entirely eliminated. So if you go back to the question, this commission of 14 cities per unit will now be zero, there's no commission. So your variable cost per unit will now be 36, same as the invoice cost, there's no sales commission. It will be 36. In addition to that, it's saying that salaries are increased by 214,000 Ghana cities, right? Show the effect of these changes on the break-even point. What will be the new break-even quantity? What will be the new break-even revenue? Attempted. 
Five minutes. Friday, no. Friday, no. Five minutes. I've given you five minutes to score it. If commission is entirely eliminated, so there is no commission. Sure. Joshua, let's solve it then. Hello? Joshua. Yes. Let's solve it together. You don't want to solve it on your own. Exams, you'll be solving them on your own. You can't solve it together with anybody. Mm. Okay, let's solve it for the sake of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to calculate the new values. Nothing was said about sales revenue so it is the same the selling price is the same mm -hmm. so we come to our new variable cost per unit it is invoice cost of 36 Commission of zero. Yeah. Even as 36. Mm -hmm. This is our new variable cost. Per unit. And then let's go back to the question again. They say salaries are increased by 214,000. The salary was a component of the total fixed cost. See the breakdown of the total fixed cost. Yeah. It was. 160 rent, 300,000 advertising, salaries of 140. Yeah. And he's saying this has to be increased by, increased by means we are going to add the increment to the original figure. Mm. Increased by 214,000. 214,000. What would the new figure be? 214,000. Plus one for Hey, please, sorry. Three, five, four. Three, five, four thousand. That is one forty thousand plus two, one four thousand. Yeah. All right. So our new, our new salary. Good office cost. Uh, will be our new total fixed cost will be like adding the two one four to the six hundred to the six hundred yeah yes it will be it will be um it will be eight eight one four yeah eight one four I'm not calculating uh -huh. eight one four this will be our new Mm, total fish cost. Our new total fish cost. So they are not difficult. You just need to clear your mind and follow the concept as yeah, we explain. I need to get similar questions. So. The increment of the salary is going to cause our fish cost to increase by 214. So we get a new total fish cost. Variable cost will also change because commission has been scrapped. Mm -hmm. And the rest is the same. Mm -hmm. So now, this is our new variable cost. New total fixed cost is equal to 814,000. One, four, four, so our break-even quantity, sorry. Our break even quantity is equal to the new total fixed cost of 814 divided by new contribution per unit of 80 minus 36. 36. You understand? Mm -hmm. 814,000 divided by what is 80 minus 36? 
No, 44. Are you sure? Mm, uh, no, but calculator is with you, so punch. Don't just use your mind, you can be wrong. Okay, let me punch. Unless you are extremely sure. You are Archimedes that you can do mathematics from your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 44. <laughs> so, 44. Mm. So, 814,000 divided by 44. Okay. 18,500. 18,500 blouses. Blouses. Okay, so with the new information, our break even quantity is 18,500 blouses. Mm. Break even revenue is equal to total new total fiscal cost of 814,000 divided by contribution to sales ratio. That will be new. Contribution to sales ratio. The new contribution to sales ratio, new CS ratio, it will be the new contribution. That one should be here. The new contribution was 44, right? 44. Yeah, new contribution per unit was 44. So 44 divided by 80. The selling price has not changed. Mm. So what is 44 divided by 80? 44 divided by 80. Uh, 0 0.55. 0 0.55 CDs. Mm. Yeah. 0 0.55 CDs contribution per one CD of sales. So now our BER becomes becomes eight one four thousand divided, divided by, by zero point five 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 five. What would that be? Divided by eight one four thousand divided by zero point five five. This is your plain currency. Um. One four seven nine. Hey, one million four hundred and seventy nine 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 nine. Okay, let me calculate it again. It is eight one four thousand divided by zero point five five. This is what I got. One four eight zero 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 zero. Uh, approximately this. okay one for okay so approximately right not approximately type it again type eight one four thousand divided by zero point five five i got one four seven nine hey, which calculator Maybe. do you use hmm. i'm My typing the same thing here eight one four Zero 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 eight one four divided by zero point five three zeros right eight one four three zeros divided by eight one four three zero divided by zero point five five zero point and it is exactly fourteen eighty thousand. Hmm. Any other me any other sir? Who knows? Any other sir? One four seven nine million nine hundred and ninety nine. Point nine 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 nine. Which calculator are you using? Samsung calculator. On on your phone. Yes, please. Uh, okay, maybe. I don't know, but that's what I got. Next time, use a different calculator. So this is the break-even revenue, Ghana cities. All right. Okay. Oh, they are not difficult concepts to understand. Hmm. Yes, and it is a typical the question. formula and everything fine, but then how to arrive at that uh, arrive at what? Shall be well. So the go, question mm -hmm. don't go and sleep. If you go and sleep over it, you will always get the same problem as you've been getting. Mm. Before you sleep today, go over it. Go over it, take the question beside you. 
take your solution, go over it, think through it, think through it, think through why this is like this. Engage your thinking in that way. You will, mm. you will be able to understand it clearly. If you go and put it aside, thinking that any time you take it, things you just come to your mind to understand. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. No one can understand things by that means. Okay. So if you want to understand it, you do what will make you understand. Go through it with a mind of understanding it before you sleep, please. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is where we will, we will end the tutorial mm -hmm. for today. Okay, please share it there. Yeah, hope Hope you are you don't have any questions or if you have any questions you can mm. can kindly, kindly share the um, the lecture notes sure I'm going to share it with you mm. 